Hello, and welcome to a very special behind-the-scenes episode of A Perry Does Animation Good Production. We're lucky enough to be here with a master of the craft of animation, and uh, hopefully we'll learn a thing or two, so pay close attention. The reason I chose to do an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet is because I felt that um, as an artist, I had a responsibility to cover all the classics of my field. And I thought that um, now that I'm ready for this, now that I've reached a high enough level, I can have my own take on the story and give it my own unique touch. And I think I have a lot to bring to the table here. I was so nervous. I mean, to be in the same room as Perry from Perry Does Animation Good Productions, that's, that's crazy. This is like, this was what I asked for for Christmas. Well, for the animation in this story, and for my work in general, I try to go for a level of realism that will trick the audience into thinking that what's happening is happening right next to them. I create such, such realistic characters and such fluid movement, such realistic movement, that I create the illusion that you are inside the scene you're watching. What really amazes me about him is the level of detail that he puts into his work. I mean, he leaves no stone unturned. Everything that he does is all according to his artistic vision, and it really shows. It was important to make the female lead be very beautiful and very elegant. So I brought out those elements by creating a very um, feminine shape and very attractive colors. Uh, very gentle colors to sort of just make a very eye-catching character. My hopes for this project are, first of all, that I will further evolutionize the field of modern animation as I've done with my previous projects. And secondly, that I can teach people a thing or two about love and about trust and friendship and that maybe this video will help bring understanding to the world and make it a better place to live in.